Hey everyone, Bean Chow here, and we're back with another episode. And on today's episode, we're gonna show you guys how to remove the seat and the tub out of your Kimco X-Town 300. So let's get to work because this is Bean Chow's Garage. I did show this before, but I'm gonna show you guys now in depth on how to remove the seat and the tub. All you need to do to do this job is a 10 millimeter socket, and I recommend a deep socket, and I'm gonna use my little 12 volt impact gun. So all you need to do is pop the seat open. So if you have the key, you're gonna turn it all the way to the, uh, almost on, push down, and turn right. On. like that once you do that you can turn it back off the seat will open up just like that and now you have full access now you can go about this a couple of ways guys you can remove the, the the nuts on top or the nuts down below um, I prefer just removing the the nuts down here uh, there's two 10 millimeters right down below, and I'll show you guys that. Right there. We'll zoom in nice and close. Look at that. Beautiful. So these two need to be removed. The two 10 millimeters. We got one. This is where the deep socket comes in handy. Two. Once you remove those two, you're gonna grab your seat and you're gonna pull straight up. Kinda. Move you guys further back so you guys can see what I mean. You're gonna pull straight up and back. Okay? Now that the seat's all the way up, you have access right here to the two other 10 millimeter bolts that are attached to the tub. Now, you go about this two ways. You can take those two off, detach the seat, and then you can take off the rest of the bolts and then re remove the rest of it. It's really up to you guys and how you want to go about that. I'm gonna take off the seat. So there's two 10 millimeter bolts, uh, nuts right over here. One, two. Take that one off. Now, second one, just be careful. Make sure you have, you have your hand on the seat and then you're gonna just pull straight up. Or try to. <laughs> you have to lean it back, there you go. Now you got the seat removed, we gotta remove the tub. What's really cool about the tub, there's only four um, things you have to remove. Two 10 millimeter nuts and two 10 millimeter bolts. Got one, two, three, and number four. Okay? Now, the tub does not clip in place, it just sits in place. So if we grab these two, front and back, pull straight up. There is a wire that uh, powers the, the light, so don't yank it all the way out, just take, pull it up. And there's a wire right here. Okay. You disconnect and pull straight up now, and out of the way. This gives you pretty much full access to your engine bay uh, and anything you need to do under the seat. Now that you're in the engine bay and you wanna know what's what, 
I'll give you guys a quick breakdown inside the bay. It's really, really simple. These things are not over engineered. So I'll give you guys a really nice close up of the engine bay itself. So down here, we got our intake air box. So that's where you're at there. If you come right over, you got your throttle cables. Okay, your accelerator, decelerator, which is what actually pulls the cable back and puts it in place. You got a breathing uh, tube right here. You got your throttle position sensor, your fuel injector, your throttle body, your intake manifold. This is the actual intake manifold underneath it. Um, actually, you know what? Correction. This is the uh, this is the fuel injector. This is more likely a uh, temperature. This is your coolant temp sensor. This is your little uh, pipe uh, where all your water goes pretty much. This is your chain tensioner. Valve cover, valve sitting underneath here. We're actually gonna get ready to do the valves on this bike too. Um, there's an O2 sensor down below. Uh, spark plug, spark plug, spark plug wire, spark plug back here. This is the crankcase breather. Um, this is super necessary. So when you have crankcase fumes come out through here, they go back and suck back in. Pretty straightforward. Um, See what else we got here that we can show you that's right above. Uh, I don't know what this sensor is here. It's on the side of the throttle body. I don't know this one. Um, I think this might be a mass airflow sensor. This will probably be the throttle position sensor. This guy runs with the coolant temp sensor. Typically these guys are like some type of smog piece because it's not much more needed and then you got your, um, your fuel injector and that's pretty much it it's like very basic and i don't know why there's more sensors on this motor than there is on my 150 cc i don't know kind of odd this is the wire for the light uh let's see here i don't know what this one's for i probably um well down in the description, there's an actually an owner's manual so you guys can see where everything belongs. Kind of a basic breakdown. I don't know everything in here. I'm still learning about this bike. So sorry if I give you the wrong information. Please double check, comment down below. Use the owner's manual that's in the description so you guys can correct me and you guys can give me some better information, some better tips. But that's pretty much it though, guys. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to ask. Comment down below. As always, hit that. Hit that uh, subscribe button and like. It helps a lot here at the channel. Um, allows us to create and generate more content. This is my friend's Nick's bike. And uh, if you guys saw previously, we already did a full review on the bike. We also did a variator install and I just did heated grips. So enjoy those videos as well. Peace out everyone. You guys have a wonderful day. Before I forget and say goodbye, or even though I did already, forgot one more thing. When you're installing the seat, Hug it and hold it and push because this little thing's gonna, you see here, this little flap is gonna thing, thing. You gotta hook it on the front of it first and then you gotta use your other hand to push it down. Then you can lean it back and it'll let you actually put the seat back on and not give you any trouble. Um, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Reinstalling the seat is a lot harder than it is removing it. Not by much though. Then this guy just goes like that. And then just a couple turns. By hand, always put them in by hand. Start them off by hand, and then you can use your Ugga Ugga machine. Just like that. Pretty easy. And then you're done. Seat's installed. That's all I wanted to give you guys a heads up on. Ah, oh, Schneikies, I forgot to wire. Don't forget to wire your light. <laughs> All right, ah, oh, man. Ah. Yeah, I gotta put that back in there. But that's pretty much it.
pretty straightforward. Thanks for again for tuning in. Sorry about the delay, but forgot about that little little trick for you guys when you start installing your seat back in there. Peace out again. Have yourself a wonderful day.